Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to another installment of Diecast Emporium. As you can tell from the title and the model in front of you, today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar 657G Wheel Tractor Scraper. So a brief history about this model. First, it started as a Norscott model around 2007. Then it appeared in the Diecast Masters Highline Series for the first year of their release in 2015. And now you have the opportunity to own it at a slightly lower cost in the Core Classic Series. So let's go ahead and and unbox this model and take a look at it. As we always do, we'll start with the packaging. It comes in a distinctive brown style or tan style, uh, open box style packaging, open window style packaging, where you can clearly see the model. It says Core Classics up on top right here, Cat Core Classics, and the item number is 85175C, and as you guys all know, the C stands for Core Classics. On the back, there's a black and white photograph of the scraper at work and for those interested this is a huge machine so obviously it has some uh, pretty impressive machine dimensions and specifications so if you're interested in checking those out by all means please feel free to pause the video right now and read those for the rest of us let's go ahead and get this model unboxed and take a closer look at it so the great thing about this scraper is that it features the push-pull setup. So if you have two of these, you can display it in that manner with push-pulling, and I will demonstrate that here in a minute. So inside you do have your catalog for Diecast Masters products, of course, for the cat line, because that's always very helpful. And the Core Classic series comes in these plastic pull-apart formers which generally do a very good job of protecting the model, and they just pull apart just like this. A series of interlocking mechanisms on them. Reach in, very carefully lift the model out, and you are ready to display it. So the 657 is really a very, very large scraper in real life, so in 1 to 50 scale, it's just as impressive. Uh, in fact, here, if we... Grab the tape measure. We'll measure it here. It's just about, from end to end, it's just about, a little over a foot long, or maybe 13 inches long. So again, you're going to need some space in your display cabinet if you want to display it. So you can lift up the apron here. And that's how the material would be ejected. And then you have this ejector plate mechanism right here, this piece, and that does push forward. And that's how you would get, again, your material out of the scraper. So you have some cylinders in the back that would push that forward, and that's how you get the stuff out. Obviously, you can raise or lower your bowl, helped by these two cylinders right here. So let's raise it up a little further. So now you can carry your load off to where you need to go drop it in the low point. Or if you need to go cut something, you can drop it like that, close this, and you're ready to start scooping up some earth. Now this machine steers by articulated steering, and you can achieve a great range of that across the go gooseneck mechanism right here. Now there aren't any hydraulic lines or anything uh, made in rubber to add detail, but there are some hydraulic lines here that are casted into the metal part of the gooseneck and the casting, so that adds a little bit of detail. So that looks pretty good. Inside the cab we have our operator friend Bob, and because this is a Core Classic Series model without some custom modification, you can't remove him. He's not designed to be removed from the cab. So here is the first part of the push-pull setup mm -hmm. that you will find a lot of times on these larger cat scrapers. So this part will hook over the uh, rear mechanism on the back of another scraper. And that's so that they can help each other out of a jam if they're stuck or also if they need more horsepower. These are twin engine scrapers, so you'll have an engine in the front and likewise an engine in the rear. But sometimes that's just not enough. So instead of having two engines to do the work, when they're configured in push-pull, they essentially have... Um, twice as much horsepower with four engines instead of having two. 
Moving towards the rear, this is the second part of the push-pull setup. And again, that loop design at the front would hook onto this at the back. And also this little piece right here, this kind of push block, uh, you could also have a dozer come up and push you out as well. The hand railings here, grab railings, protection railings, all of these are in metal and black, which look good. They're not in plastic. And your exhaust stack and your air cleaner also look impressive. You have some lights that are painted in here. And the tread pattern on the tires is also very impressive with these large style wheels. Coming over to this side, we can get a good look at the decal application, which also looks pretty good. Here you can see and make out 657G and CAT. You have a CERT technology up here. And on the front, if I didn't mention, you do have Caterpillar right across the grill there as well. Taking a look underneath of the machine, this gives you a really good look again at the tread pattern of the tires, which hopefully that will focus on screen. They are the same front to rear, obviously no change there. And you see a little bit of wear plating on the cutting edge of the scraper bowl. Okay, so let's see how two of these would look. So I mentioned this is the brand new one. This is the one offered as a Core Classic Series model. I also have from years ago the Highline Series version from Diecast Masters. So let's see if we can't configure both of these. Allow me just a moment here. In a push-pull setup. So we'll hook over the back part of that, just like that. So how this would work is this scraper would work first by filling up his filling up his bowl and this scraper would be helping him in terms of horsepower and motor power and as soon as this bowl is full of material dirt that kind of thing he would lift his bowl up they would still stay attached and then now this machine would be using uh, his engine and his horsepower to help pull this machine around as he would then start scraping along, filling his bowl. So again, this was a technique that was patented by Caterpillar uh, decades ago, and uh, they still use it today. It's a very, uh, it's it's very very productive. It's a way to move a lot of material very very quickly. So again, it's great that the scrapers have the option to do that with your 657. So, and if you want to display it, it might be another reason for you to buy. Uh, two of these because again you can see that the mechanism actually does work and they do stay locked together so there you have it collectors that is a quick review of the diecast masters core classic series caterpillar 657 g in 150 scale overall a very highly detailed model you're definitely not sacrificing anything now that this model is in the core classic series really nothing but advantages here lower cost same quality of, of build and uh, it's also a very highly detailed model as always i'm tommy with diecast emporium thank you guys so much for watching until next time we'll see you in the next video